So those who have been following the Apocalypse Trooper project know that uh, I've set this vehicle so that it no longer runs on its uh, computer. It's a manual choke carb, uh, manual systems and all that, but I still run a lot of electronics off of the, uh, the power system. And initially, you know, a lot of stuff would use a cigarette lighter plug. Yeah, and that's on only when a vehicle is on, but you can install auxiliary outlets that are on all the time. And that allows you to run, let's say, the, these little solar chargers that will keep the battery topped off. Um, I, don't, I don't drive this vehicle all that often. Sometimes it sits a little while. And uh, I go through periods of checking up on it, but it's definitely not a daily driver. And I... Uh, what I what I done was I was figuring out that these these little cigar lighter plugs are not optimum for small electronic devices. USB is. That's why most of your modern phones have USB chargers. You get a USB adapter to go in a cigarette lighter thing. Well, what I'm finding is that if you go on Amazon, you can find these little three-way deals where you you order like the center sections usually a couple of different ways so one of them will be the voltmeter which is kind of important but it's always on so it, it, over long periods of time it could drain your battery down the dedicated USB and then your your 12 volt now this may eventually become USB because that's what runs the GPS and I gotta say good things about these Tom Toms I bought newer garments that, that fried within a year and I keep going back to this old Tom Tom. But the, uh, these dedicated uh, USBs are pretty good. Uh, unlike the one that was from the exact same company that I put in my motor home, uh, for, for whatever reason the one that was part of this little three-way unit, that seems to work okay. The trick is finding a spot where to fit that. Uh, you can mount them either horizontally or vertically. I, I mounted this one vertically just because I, I had trouble on as far as where to fit things on the dash. And I think it's better to put those as an additional uh, unit rather than removing the OEM thing and then putting something else in its place. But this has become pretty useful because I can keep uh, USB type stuff topped off. And the other thing is you know, occasionally I'm giving somebody a ride to work or something like that. We want to use the carpool lanes. And uh, they got their cell phone charger with them that's for a building, but nobody has it. You know, may or may not have the 12 volt adapter. Well, this basically makes your vehicle USB compatible. Uh, it's, it's not going to interface with any vehicle computer systems, but it will recharge stuff. These are available on Amazon, and one of the things I'm noticing is you have to look carefully because it's the exact same unit available from different vendors or under different item numbers from the same vendor, and it's a question of whether or not it comes with all of the cabling in the back. And for the work it saves you, I would get the one with the cabling. You may be snipping one end off of some of those cables to use a different type of connector. I actually use wire nuts on a lot of this stuff and then I tape them down and that's, that's what works for me.